you can feel it. Um, you don't even have to hear it sometimes, you can feel it, feel it, feel it. To be on the other side, you know, they call it the dark side, dark side, dark side. You know, the hatred or whatever the case may be. You know, I'm out there to be a game changer, game changer, game changer. And I didn't make enough game changing plays. plays, plays. There it is, redemption for Golden State. One of the great playoff runs of all time is complete. I get the feeling he's really a good guy, nice guy. Maybe he's too nice of a guy. He's the fake MJ. Maybe it's my fault. Maybe I led you to believe it was easy when it wasn't, was it? People should appreciate Michael Jordan more than ever before. He's the most overrated superstar in my history in this business. You're just making excuses. Well, maybe. Maybe I destroyed the game. First shot is good. This is going to be the best player you've ever seen. When the lights come on, I'm ready. Look at the air. Look at the hang time. Look at the flying motion. He doesn't come out and say, I'm better than you. But somewhere, something comes through that he feels he is better as a player. To reach a goal in life that you want, you have to work hard to get to it. This guy is incredible. Dialed in like no other. Anything that I have to do to take the pressure off me, and that's just playing my game. And that's not hard at all. I'm surprised at how fast I'm picking up the game. Can you deliver an NBA title? I'm going to just try to get my team better every day. I can't promise an NBA championship to no one, you know, but I can make sure that my teammates will get better every day. Just to get that feeling, accomplishment, of achieving something that, you know, a lot of people may not ever thought they could achieve. Jordan, Jordan with two seconds to go, puts it up, and Jordan at the buzzer! Oh, here comes Mr. Jordan! The power and athleticism make him so intriguing to watch. You can't take your eyes off of him. When he came on the floor, people knew that they were in trouble. Oh my God, what did I just see? If I ever wanted to be considered the best basketball player that I can be, I had to work my way up that ladder. I'm out there doing the things that I love to do, and that's play the game of basketball. That's what's going to motivate me. We like to be an underdog. You know, a lot of teams are taking us for granted. LeBron to win the game! But also, they're counting on him to be a leader. He has the weight of a franchise on his shoulders this year. He got it to go! I love the game of basketball, and I don't want to ever lose that love. If I do, then I want to quit. I try to be the MVP and the best player for our team when we go out there every night to try to win basketball games. To chase individual accolades, I'm not that type of person. Right now, I'm more or less geared towards team success. Courageous, classic performance. He's doing everything he did. That's for sure. You know, we fought hard. You know, they were the better team. You know, we want to be where they are. But we still got to win our turn. What a tough defeat for LeBron James. You know, but I got to take my bumps and bruises just like everybody else. The expectations each year, they start to expect you to go further. This was his time to live up to being the most talented player this game has ever seen. His fatigue at the finish proved again that he can't do it all by himself. I mean, once you get to the playoffs, every game is pressure. I was beat down because of the physicality of what was happening within the game. And I didn't have it to compete with them. Yeah, you can never hang your head low when you know how much work, how much dedication that you put into the game of basketball, you know, when the lights are off. I'm real critical of myself. Ultimately, I want to become the greatest basketball player. And holding that trophy one day is, is my dream. To win a world championship would be one of the most exciting things that I've ever been through. I'll take all the bumps and bruises. I will take all the pain that comes with competing for a championship. Do you think you can win a title as it's constituted? Certainly. I won't be here if I didn't. And Jackie throws it right down. Oh, yes. Oh, man. If I were a two guard in the league, I would stop worrying because the Tasmanian devil is back. That's what's scary for the league is the best basketball for LeBron James is ahead of him. And the Chicago Bulls captures that elusive title. Michael walks in and he says, there's a new sheriff in town. LeBron's at the redemptive stage. He's been challenged by everybody. Now that the monkey is off his back, he's going to be compared to Michael Jordan. Yeah, I don't care who shines, as long as we all shine as a team. Let's go, keep it in, everybody get together.
Have you ever been afraid on the court ever? Have you ever been intimidated by anybody? Never. I mean, these guys put on their shorts just like me. I like to be that villain. When I go into a building, I want people to fear me. I want people to fear us as a team. The only way that this is really fun at this level is to win. That's what they bought the tickets for to see that. When I lose the sense of motivation and the sense of to prove something as a basketball player, it's time for me to move away from the game of basketball. I try to make everybody happy, but you can't make everybody happy. That's one of the things that I've learned. As beautiful as Miami is, Wendy and Cleveland would be so emotional. And that's why I came back. I love you. I'm back. Michael Jordan today comes back aiming to be the best. And I never thought I'd come back to the game of basketball. basketball. Well, he's not going to come back unless he's going to come back with a bang and he's looking good. You can believe that. Stronger. With a different outlook about life, I was making myself happy. I'm happy. As far as on the court and off the court. Oh, I've been around other celebrities in my life. I've never seen people react like they do to Michael Jordan. But this guy LeBron James, he does everything well. Back to James! Throws it down! The Chicago Bulls have won their sixth NBA championship. It's over! It's over! A lot of talk, now LeBron's talking about that, that his goal, obviously, is to become the greatest ever. So I'm chasing that greatness, that how great that that ghost was. Michael Jordan is the greatest of all time. They're totally different in how they play, how they approach the game. That's my personal inspiration. That's what drives me. Michael did everything well. LeBron James just bigger, stronger, faster. Michael was much better offensively with a low post game, with his shooting. No one in the history has come out of high school with those kind of expectations, and he's exceeded it. I wear the number because of Mike. I fell in love with the game because of Mike. And when you're growing up and you're seeing Michael Jordan, you, it's almost like a god. So I didn't never believe I could be Mike. Here is James. There it is. Three just he passed knows. Michael Jordan. Most points in the playoffs. They are the two greatest virtuoso players of all time. You're now seeing moments that are now starting to round out to a place where you can make the legitimate comparison between Jordan and LeBron. Never say never. It's how you come back from adversity. Because limits, like fears, all the bumps and bruises, are often just an illusion.